Hello YouTube, Steve Trucker here. Um, well, I'm waiting to click from here. I'm going to do a quick video of how to use a tachograph. This ain't going to cover all the ins and outs. I'm not going to try and do ferry mode. I want to highlight that because I'm a I haven't really done ferry mode, so I don't want to teach you anything I'm not overly too sure of either on the system. I will probably do one in the future, I just need to learn how you would do it. But this is done as if it's your first day, you're, or you're new to this type of system, or it's your first day. And we're going to be covering the Stonebridge system, just so you are aware. Because there are several different digital tachograph systems that are available. But nevertheless, they all fundamentally do the same sort of thing. There's little differences between between them pros and cons depend who you speak to i i actually prefer this system in a way but other people prefer the other systems and you know i'm not a solid expert but i'll teach you what i know so what we'll do we'll focus you onto the tachograph so just one second while i bring you around you're on my uh on my uh Thing we do. Okay, okay, this is the Stonebridge system here. We're currently on working. You said we've been sat here for well over an hour, as you may be able to see. So that tells you what we're up to, because we're in slot one, and that's slot two. Slot two has no card in it, so we can even... And that's how you would eject. I'll start that again, as I jumped a wee bit ahead there. So you've got slot one, which is this one here, slot one. Slot two, which is... Here, this is if you have a second person, but the primary driver is always in slot one. I'm not going to do multi-man, I have done multi-man, but I'm a bit rusty. But I'll demonstrate the options on, on slot two, what you can do with slot one. To eject a card, it's the same as on slot one. As I've done, just hold down the one or two button to whichever slot you want to do, and you can flip, place your card in above. I've gone which way, but if you put the card in the wrong way, you know that you put it in the wrong way. You, you know straight away if you got it wrong or right. Uh, top white is where your taco roll comes out of, and you just press in from the top, pull out, place your tac taco roll in like so. So it goes under, and then push in. And it's ready to rock and roll. Also, I'll, while I'm in there, I'll quick take that out. If you ever get asked to download your head, that's where you plug the head thing in, the cable. You know what I mean if you handed the bit to do it, that's where you plug it in in there. So you have to take the drawer out to get to it. And I'll leave it down to your company to instruct you how they want you to download the head. Okay, and let's say you want to change what mode. We're currently on working at the moment. To change what mode, you just press what number slot you want to change the mode on. So there, I press number one and we've gone to resting. We've had a, a 45 minute break already, so we've got a full set, four and a half already. That's why it's all bing bang bosh. POA, I don't use POA. I'll just quickly hop off that and back to working. And that's the main bulk of it. If you want to go and get a printout, press OK. And you're in the menu system here, which you've got printout, places, settings. In settings, you can change like your local time and UTC time in there. I'm not going to mess with that today, so I've got to do that on the weekend when the clocks go back. So if you want to print out, just press print. Whatever printout you're after, so you want vehicle, card, drive time info but primarily you'll be after card then you get to select what date you want so you, if you want to go back in time or today press ok print and it will say printer busy and we'll get a nice big stonebridge printout of what you've been up to Just like that. And just tear off like so. And jobs are good in. If you want to go back, always just hit back. That 
you can flick up and down tell you different information so we've had we're good on rest that tells you KMs you've done but primarily I like it on that or on that because that tells me all the information I need to know tells me what break I've done up in the top right what I'm currently on and how long have I been doing it for so I've been on working for an hour and 12 minutes I've completed a 45 minute break before this I have not driven anywhere since completing that break so that won't reset just yet obviously car 2 has been on POA for 4 minutes since we altered this over and the current time is 11.21 and that's how simple the system is. It's not to get excited about. Uh, one thing I'll do actually is do it. I'll show you ejecting my card. This shouldn't affect anything anyway. So you press one and you get end United Kingdom. And this is if you're finishing your day. And just click OK. It'll update your card, eject it out. Like so. So, oh sorry, shove. <laughs> I'm not too bothered about that. And stick with your pin up like that into the machine. Click it in, and you get the welcome message. Normally, you'll get uh, a message there saying, "Are you start? Have you been up to rest till now?" yes or no and you go yes if you have been or no if you haven't we haven't been off out the car for long enough for that to happen so that's normally what will happen when you start your day and just click ok 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 and you're fine you're good to go you're legal so hopefully you've enjoyed that hopefully it's been informative uh, I probably have missed some stuff on there but that's the bog basics you need to know on that system if I've got a bit faster, you just slow it down over the section you're wanting to know about. So a bit like when I showed you how the printer operated, it's simple. You know, as I said, the paper, once you get used to it, it's fine. There's no worries with the system. It's depending on what truck you have, it will also be displayed on the display down below. I'm not going to show you that because every truck's a little bit different. You might be on a Weno, you might be on whoever has a Stonebridge system in. You know, most scanners will be the same, it'll be on your dash. But it's relatively easy to find once you start playing around with the systems. But the important thing is to know how to use the head. That's called the head, by the way. You know, which you put your card in. Uh, to download your card, as I said, I highlighted where you plug in the, the cable for it. You'll be given like a taco card with it to do as well. I'm not going to walk you through it because I'd rather show you it to actually do it so I'll do it next time in, I'm in the main yard because I'll have to download my head then and yeah that's about it um, if you have any queries I'm not going to cover working time and driving time in this video for obvious reasons because not obvious reasons but I may do a video on it separately because it's just a slightly different subject altogether this as I say is just to show you how to use the taco you know uh, one thing I did miss though or didn't miss but in that top right hand corner when you're on break that tells you how much break you've had I think I did mention it but I want to highlight that so if you've just done a fifth one that classifies you for 15 minutes it'll have one five in there and when you've done 30 it will go up to 45 like that or if you do a full 45 it'll show like that to you drive and when you're driving up in that top white I believe will show you between if you can take another break or how much you'll be able to do you, you'll figure it out more you use it you know you may not be on the Stonebridge system you have to see what you've got in your system but if you do encounter this which is a very common tachograph system and all fairly similar to be honest and don't worry about it if you're not sure ask a driver or anybody in the dispatch to give you a quick walkthrough if you're honestly not sure 
And you're still thinking, actually, is that actually how you do it? Just ask. Always just ask, as I always say. Hopefully this has been helpful or informative. I'm going to have to blur out a couple of bits, <laughs> maybe, on that. But I'm not too bothered. There's nothing really too questionable. I'll see how, how it's been picked up. So, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Also, check out my social media. And to everybody who has subscribed and watched my stuff of late, thank you very much. As I always say, it is great for the... Well, you know, it's amazing, you know... Even though I've only got 17 subs as the count of today, you know, it's amazing. And also everybody's commented, etc, etc. So I'll catch you in the next one. Over and out.